Hello everyone. Welcome back to our programming series today we are going to see about skill rack daily test that is addition and multiplication, alternate pattern. Int main, this is the main function, which is the entry point of the C program. Long long int n, declares a variable n of type long long int, which is used to store the input integer value. Scanf, percent LLD, and n, reads an integer value from the standard input and stores it in the variable n. The percent %LLD format specifier is used for reading a long long int. Long long int i equals 0, declares and initializes a variable i of type long long int with an initial value of 0. This variable is used as a loop counter. While, n greater than 0 starts a while loop that continues as long as the value of n is greater than 0. Long long int t, declares a variable t of type long long int, which will be used to store the result of either addition or multiplication. If, i% 2 equals 0 checks if the value of i is even. t equals 0, initializes the variable t to 0 before entering the loop. 4, long long in i equals 1, i equals n, i++ plus plus starts a for loop that iterates from 1 to n. t plus equals i, adds the current value of i to the variable t. printf, percent %LLD, i, prints the current value of i. If, i equals n, printf, plus, prints a plus after the current value of i if i is not equal to n. Else, executes the block of code inside the else statement if i is odd. t equals 1, initializes the variable t to 1 before entering the loop. 4, long long in i equals 1, i equals n, i plus plus starts another for loop that iterates from 1 to n. t asterisk equals i, multiplies the current value of i to the variable t. printf, percent %LLD, i, prints the current value of i. If, i equals n, printf, asterisk, prints a asterisk after the current value of i if i is not equal to n. printf, equals percent %LLD backslash n, t, prints the calculated result, t, followed by a new line. i++, plus plus, increments the loop counter i. n, decrements the loop control variable n. The while loop continues until n becomes 0. I hope this explanation helps. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more programming challenges. Thanks for watching.